Okay, I want to give you some hardcore proof, and all the links are below. Um, I've uh, seen the inside of uh, three different um, defective uh, Sony A7R2s, and there is a design flaw. And uh, I think I have about eight or nine pictures below that you can take a look at. Um, the first lady I was corresponding with, um, lucky for me, I'm a Russian translator. She's a Russian lady named Victoria, and I made a video about her. And uh, she actually emailed me the uh, high-resolution pictures of the inside of her camera, along with the work order uh, in Spain where she had it uh, sent to. I don't know if she's staying there, but I've been communicating with her in Russian. Her English is not so good. Um, the description as far as the work order is uh, not very explicit, and that's never the case when it comes to uh, repaired stuff. It's like, well, this is wrong with it, and it's going to cost you, I think, $1,700 or something was the quote on it. I have to look at her work order. I haven't looked at that in a week. But anyway, now I've seen uh, Darren's camera, and I've uh, seen Victoria's camera, the inside of the A7R2, and the pictures are below. And um, the evidence is irrefutable. There is a design flaw in this camera. I don't care what you think of me about what I think about Sony cameras. Let's leave that aside. Let's just talk about hardcore facts, okay? The pictures don't lie, by the way. They don't lie. Um, before I show you these pictures and the links for them are below, I want you to know something, okay? I was number one person in the world for doing tech support on the MacBook Air. I was a hardware technician for the, uh, I'm not going to name the company, <laughs> one of the largest uh, printer manufacturers on earth, and I don't mean inkjets, I'm talking about professional business printers, and I would do diagnostic elimination on those. I grew up being brought home like junk from the trash of IBM, and, you know, it, that, those were my toys growing up, is taking those uh, things apart and seeing how they worked. So whatever you think of me or the stuff that I've said about Sony in the past, there is one thing I can damn well assure you of, and that is that I am extremely, I have a God gift for diagnosing the source of a problem when it comes to something breaking down. I'm certainly no car mechanic. Uh, <laughs> um, but so far, and I used to fix cameras too, beach photo and video, I used to fix cameras. You've seen me make videos repairing lenses, I repair my own lenses if I can, and, uh, you know, everything is parts replacement now, I mean, you don't desolder anything, but, uh, the point being is that I'm really, 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 really good. If you think that's egotistical, I don't give a damn. I'm extremely good at diagnosing the sources of issues. And uh, just like uh, in the snow when you actually see a rabbit's trail, you can actually use that with uh, corrosion to see the source of the issue. And I'm going to show you the design flaw, but check the links below. Um, before I do that, I'm going to tell you the source of the issue is the eyepiece and viewfinder frame are external to the camera body. The uh, serious mistake is that there's a, a copper, solid copper motherboard, and the, that shield should have been uh, coated, by the way, but it wasn't. A solid copper uh, motherboard shield, which is a heat shield, for the processor, which gets hot. No big deal. Okay, we're not talking about the Sony, oh, Sony overheating, which it does. All processors do get hot. Serious design flaw is that they chose to mount the top end of that heat shield to the outside of the camera. And the pictures are below for you to look at. Okay, let me show you here. Here's the design flaw. The little rabbit ears up at the top that is at the base of the view. I've got like nine pictures. I mean, I don't care if you know how to fix anything or you know anything about uh, parts and heat shields. With the nine or ten pictures linked below, you will, you will not be able to refute this. Well, some people that are hardcore fanboys probably will be, but there is a design flaw. This is external to the camera body, and what it does is that, you know how you like if you're in the air conditioner of your car and it's really humid outside and you got the AC blasting on your glasses? your sunglasses and you step outside and your glasses fog up, moisture wicking, condensation due to, temper, uh, due to temperature differential, all that moisture condensates on the... What happens is because this part right here, well, that's a spacer, is right over top of the hot processor and this is actually external to the camera. It's at the base of the viewfinder outside of the camera. And I'll show that to you here. I've got all the pictures as proof that you want. You want pictures? Um, 
it's, well, there it is right there. I've actually got the picture uploaded on the Flickr page. Um, but here you could actually see it migrating from the base of the viewfinder. And this is the magnesium backplate. That is actually magnesium oxide. Here's the inside of one of the uh, cameras as far as the damage. Here you can actually see where it's cold, the, uh, the uh, heat sink uh, plate, uh, shield, motherboard. Uh, the, the motherboard was really a processor heat sink is what it is. They call it the motherboard shield, which adds, acts as a as a, a type of Faraday cage for EMR and RFI, electromagnetic interference and radio frequency interference, which copper is, but it also acts as a primary heat sink for the processor, which is right here. Okay, and there's a flexor ribbon cable. So this part is actually exposed and it's actually moisture wicking. It's like, you know how something wicks moisture. Well, what they did is, and I'll show you in the picture here, what Sony did, and this is a serious mistake, let me see if I've got the better picture of the two. I've got all the pictures uploaded. Um, yeah, well, there it is. Right up here at the top, they chose to mount the motherboard heat shield, the little rabbit ears, I'm going to call them, external to the camera, but they just chose to mount them at the base of the viewfinder. And also, the other issue is right down here, which is where the corrosion, the magnesium alloy, because the back plate is a mag magnesium and I'll show you the back plate here which sits over top of that motherboard shield here's the uh, the white magnesium uh, oxide which is on the inside of the back plate which is underneath the LCD viewfinder okay so this is a design flaw what they did is that uh, the sensor assembly not the sensor but the assembly itself that the sensor sits in okay it is actually a pretty big ass hunk of steel not zinc, not magnesium, it's a, it's a hunk of steel, and it's cold. And the other end of that, you see, uh, moisture takes the path of least resistance, and that's why you actually see it going from this corner where the motherboard shield is attached to the uh, sensor assembly. But the serious issue, and you can see all the pictures, I know you probably can't see this very well, but you'll see them in the pictures in the links below, is going from here to here. So it's actually not, you think, and also, the thing is, and you'll see in the pictures, in the, the corroded pictures of one of the cameras uh, that I've been able to examine, um, right over here, you see over here where all the ports are, the connectivity ports, the US, this is just like 100% brand new. It's, per, it's not due to uh, uh, humidity infiltration here, it's due to the design flaw of where they decided to stick the motherboard heat sink plate which actually serves, like I said, a dual purpose. It serves as a heat sink for the processor, which is right here on the motherboard, and it acts as a shield against, um, that's why they call it the motherboard shield. It also acts as a shield against RFI and EMI. So it acts as a heat sink and an RFI EMI shield. Yeah, I'm actually pretty proud of myself to diagnose this. You know, let, let's just, you know, I would never want, and let me tell you too, I would never want someone that like saved up their pennies, and you better believe me on this one, okay? I would never want someone that saved up their their hard-earned hard -earned cash on an expensive camera. I would not like, you know, laugh at someone like, oh, you know, I, I'm sorry, you just saved up six months or a year's worth of your money to buy that expensive, you know, whatever I think about this camera and everything I've said, I would never want, you know, someone to you know get upset like victoria did you know said that uh, you know made her cry and that's understandable you know like some people in eastern europe and what i mean that's a lot of money you know you save up to buy that camera i would never want to see somebody have that happen to them ever no matter whatever i think about the company that is a you know look in my eye if i'm lying i'm dying i would never want that to happen to anybody and there's a new video that's just posted and um it's of another guy where his uh, A7R2 crashed, and uh, I'll give you the link to that below. And it's a young guy, and Petapixel picked that up. And that just happened like a day or two ago, and everybody's been emailing me the link. But I have discovered the flaw. So the eyepiece and viewfinder frame, I don't actually have the picture on my iPad, but I do have it uploaded in the link below where you can actually see it. They made the mistake of mounting that... Uh, motherboard shield external it's all one piece mounting it external to the body of the camera and it's actually wicking moisture and condensation it's just like you you know you're inside your cold air-conditioned car you got your glasses on you step outside it's like oh my god my glasses fogged up 
Well, imagine that going on constantly when you're using the camera. It is constantly wicking moisture into the camera because this is external to the camera at the base of the viewfinder assembly. Um, that's a fact, too. You'll see that in the pictures below. It's, um, it's uh, actually, you remove the eyepiece, and what the, it's actually called is the viewfinder frame. But it is not sealed or anything like that, and that is where the moisture is wicking in. So... I've got irrefutable hardcore proof. You can like it, you can deny it, you cannot believe it. I don't get I don't care. I don't get paid one way or the other. But I'm telling you for a fact that homeboy here who has been repairing stuff his entire life and repairs cameras and lenses and was number one person in the world for answering tech support questions on the MacBook Air and was a heart, a heavy hitting Han show at a uh at uh, one of the world's largest printer manufacturers uh, to do tech support on their business uh, laser printers that I know how stuff works. I don't know how cars and stuff like that work. I mean, you know, there's, you know nobody knows it all. I don't know how this. I don't know how a lawnmower works either. I mean, yeah, I do, but I mean, I, I can't fix it. But this stuff I can diagnose. I can diagnose this stuff. And I can see design flaws. And I can see it just like, like I said, a rabbit leaving its footprints in the snow. If you look at the corrosion and then you look at the parts, I mean, it just smacked me in the face like someone hit me in the head with a sledgehammer. It's like, oh my God. I can see the corrosion. I can see the design flaw. It is absolutely, it just screamed at me. Nobody else can see stuff like that. Well, a few people can, but, uh, you know, camera users can't because most camera users are just, you know, they don't repair cameras, you know. They're not used to seeing what I can see. But anyway, that's the fact. It's irrefutable, and you can deny it all you want, but it, it's, it is irrefutable. There is a design flaw there, and, you know, I'm not going to harp, and I would never, ever want, you know, someone's hard-earned money to, you know, be lost. And by the way, check the video that was just posted of this teenager and his experience. Um, it's kind of unbelievable because everybody's been emailing me that link. But uh, I finally figured it out because I've seen enough inside of enough of the A7R2s and the problems are the same. And that's the design flaw. Okay? Thank you for watching. And uh, if anybody, those people that had that happen to their camera, you know, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to say anything further than that. Okay? Bye.